Do you ever get that feeling of fullness in your stomach after you've eaten where it just doesn't seem like it's emptied? That's a real phenomenon. It's actually known as gastroparesis when it happens too often and um, is associated with actually paralysis of the stomach. It stores food because it doesn't get the signal to empty. And you can have early satisfaction with a small meal where the stomach sends signals to the brain saying I'm full. Or even afterwards, you can have symptoms of nausea to the point of vomiting, all from gastroparesis. Now, what governs that is input from the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve being the longest nerve that runs from the brain right through the thorax into the abdomen to help regulate breathing and help regulate digestion. A lot of people have vagus nerve dysfunction, and that can occur due to way too much stress, too much fight or flight. So we talk about rest and digest versus fight or flight. Rest and digest is related to vagus nerve function. It's called the parasympathetic nervous system. The opposite on the other side is the sympathetic nervous system. But all that technology and all that techie word and all that sort of verbiage aside, um, mainly what you need to do is relax and breathe and get into habits like uh, yoga, for example, or some people singing even or humming or chanting. But breathing is probably the most important thing into your belly, flattening the diaphragm and doing it consciously so that the vagus nerve can function properly. Because it's not the only thing it does. As I said, it regulates what's going on in your chest as well, including heart rate and breathing. And it assists organs other than the stomach and digestion, so gives innervation to the small intestine and evacuation through the large bowel. Therefore, it's involved in every step of processing food.